Hi everybody, welcome back to Redemption City Church Kids. I'm Brad and we're now on week five of our study on the armor of God. So over the last few weeks, we've been talking about the different pieces of armor that you wear, like the breastplate of righteousness, the belt of truth, and also the shoes of the gospel of peace. And all those things are things that you have to put on and they have to stay with you at all times. But today is the first time we're gonna be talking about a piece of armor that you actually don't wear. It's the shield, the shield of faith. And this shield is gonna be so important because as we've talked about, we're not in a battle against flesh and blood, but against Satan and the things that he wants to do to, do to distract us from having our best life with Jesus. Because there's so much in it, we're gonna read that verse right now about the shield of faith, and then we're going to talk about each piece of it together. Ephesians 6.16 says, In all circumstances, take up the shield of faith, with which you can extinguish all the flaming darts of the evil one. So this is the only part of Ephesians 6 where we're talking about the armor of God, where it talks about taking something up. Those words take up are really important. It's the only time in this entire piece of scripture that's talking about like actually um, taking up and using a piece of armor. And I'm sorry about that. Um, so anyway, um, so if you think about like, you're going to school, for example, right? And not, well, hold on, hold on. Mike. Yeah. Hey, Mike. Yeah. Um, how, how you doing? All right, man. So um, you seem frustrated and upset. And well, I like you're walking in and out here. Yeah, I just, well, I've been listening to what you're saying about wearing all the armor. You have, and, and I appreciate that. We're really, really trying to, to walk in all this, right? And uh -huh. so I'm, I've got this on, and it's not, it's not doing anything. Well, wait, you just put it on? Like you're wearing it? Well, yeah. It's... Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, Mike, uh, you have been doing really well. Thank you for like listening to all of our uh, Armor of God messages. It's been really good. Mm -hmm. And so we've talked about the breastplate of righteousness, mm -hmm. you wear that. Mm -hmm. The shoes of the gospel of peace, you wear those. The belt of truth, all those you do wear. But this one is, uh, you can't just wear it. Okay. Uh, so, let me see. So, um, say you're going to school, right? Yeah. And um, you are in math class. Ew. Uh, I know, math. Um, but you have a math school book, right? Sure. So, do you just leave it on the desk and just leave it there, or do you actually use it? <laughs> you gotta use it, Brad. Exactly, exactly. So, in order to actually learn and grow in math, mm -hmm. you have to open that book. You have to, like, read through it, and you have to actually, like, learn from that book and use it. And so, that's the same thing here. Like, you can't just wear the shield of faith. It's something that you have to use often. You have to say, oh, I take up the shield and I, and I go against this what? distraction. Hold on. Hold on. And, uh, I think I can't just wear this. I think I gotta use this. That's what, I, I think, think that's, I think that's what I've been saying. I, I should not just have this on my arm, You Brad. shouldn't have it on I your arm. I should be using yeah. this. Man, I'm glad I figured that out. I'm, I'm glad you figured that out too. <laughs> so I love that Mike, has been listening about putting on the armor of God. You know, he's gone through a lot the last few weeks and it's really cool that he put on that shield. But like I was talking about, you don't grow your knowledge in something if it just sits there. And that's what's so important about this shield of faith. It's something that Jesus wants us to use all the time because if we just leave it there, if we just leave the shield on us, it's not gonna actually block any of the attacks. What it's gonna do is it's just gonna sit there and our faith doesn't grow. But what Jesus wants is for our faith to grow so huge. He wants us to use that shield of faith often so that we can actually grow and be strong. And before you know it, that shield is so big that no attack can get through. And so in order to really talk about how that works, we have a really cool experiment, I think. Brad Tholomew was really excited about it. So let's go ahead and see what Brad Tholomew thinks and I'll come back and discuss the last part of this verse. Today's experiment, it is so good to see you again. I am Brad Tholomew, and I'm so excited about our experiment on the shield of faith. Now, we've talked about how you need to make sure that your faith grows into one whole shield, right? Well, that's what we're going to do today. But in order for you to join me, 
I'm going to need you to grab your supplies. So you should have a nice little shield in your bag like this. If you don't, all it takes is a paper towel, you fold in half, and then you use the markers of your choice to make multiple colors to show the faith that you currently have. And you also need two dishes of some sort with, with water in them. You can see that they both have little bits of water and uh, that's all you're going to need. So why don't you grab your supplies, we'll pause the video and we'll come back, we'll do this together. Welcome back. It is very good to have you back with us. Now, you should have your shield. It looks just like this. Now, the important thing is here, you want just a little bit of water because if it's too much water, your colors will go into the jars and we want them to spread over your entire shield. So, what we have here is a shield of faith with a little bit of faith. Let's see what happens when we start exercising that faith. We start using our faith. Let's see what happens. I like to fold this just a little bit so you can get nice angle on your water. All right, here we go. Let's see what happens when our faith, we start using that faith. Ah, what do we have here? Look at that. Our faith is growing. Yes, that is so cool. Now, what we're going to do is we're gonna wait about five minutes and after we wait about five minutes, we'll see that this has covered the entire shield. So come back with us in just a moment. My goodness, look at this. It was a complete success. So when we first put our shield in the water, we had only a little bit of faith. But the thing is, as you keep practicing your faith, as you keep focused on your faith, as you keep soaking in faith, all of a sudden, you have a full shield. Look at this. It is marvelous. I love these experiments, and I love that this shows what life can be like when you have a shield full of faith in Jesus. Well, my friends, that was wonderful. I hope you enjoyed this experiment, and we can't wait to see you next time. Thank you very much. So that experiment was so cool. I loved how the longer that that shield was in the water, the longer or the more faith that came together. And all of a sudden, before you knew it, you had a shield that was full of faith. And that's so cool. And that's what we're talking about today. The longer you focus on faith, the more you use your shield of faith, the stronger you get. And that's really, really important because there's one part of the scripture we haven't talked about yet. And that's at the end of that verse, it said, extinguish the fiery darts of the enemy. Fiery darts? That's crazy. Like, can you imagine having actual fiery darts like that were being shot at you? That would be really scary. But the thing is, as I've said throughout this entire series, we're not in an actual physical battle. We're in a real battle against Satan. And these fiery darts are things he's trying to do to distract us from Jesus or keep us from Jesus. Like for example, we talked earlier about the math book. Now let's say that you have a really, really, really big test coming up tomorrow. Well, Satan may throw these darts at you that says, maybe you should cheat on the test. Or you know what, maybe you should lie that you're sick so you can't take the test. Or maybe you get really anxious or angry that you have to go to school. All those different things are these fiery darts that the enemy is firing at you, saying, I don't want you to succeed. I don't want you to do well. I don't want you to grow. But what do we have? We have a shield of faith. And that's why it's so important to say, no, I'm not gonna be anxious. No, I'm not gonna cheat. I'm instead going to focus on Jesus and I'm going to be able to uh, overcome any, uh, any dart, any distraction that our enemy may try and shoot at us. So that's why it's so important to do that over and over and over again. So you're ready against anything that our enemy may throw at us. That's really, really cool. So as you can tell, I'm very excited about this piece of armor. It's something that's extremely important for us and allows us to get courageous because we're using the shield and we know that we cannot be attacked by the enemy, which is amazing. So I've really enjoyed today and I, I know that we've talked about a lot of the different pieces of armor, but I really, really would ask that you come next week because next week we're going to talk about the helmet of salvation, which is 
the most important piece of armor that we have. So please come join me next week. I'm so excited to be doing it. Whoa! Uh, oh, he's <laughs> Mike's Captain America ain't got nothing on me. Tell you what. <laughs> so I'm Mike's actually using the shield now. I'm I'm so proud of you, Mike. Yeah. <laughs> have a great week, everyone. <laughs>